I've removed some of the screws with this uh, easy out. I've gone round the screws like that. It takes a bit of the head off um, and then I'll get hold of them uh, when they're in position. I unscrew them with this and pull them out. What's interesting about this is <coughs> this is probably um, the original. I'd say this was the original piece. And here we've got two pieces, um, a smaller piece and a larger piece. And then it goes into one big piece here. And what's interesting is the particular joint that they've used, which is a scarf joint. As you can see, they've um, used a very small scarf joint joining the two planks. And that's the very reason I'm getting out of this now as good as I can, um, because I want to preserve that so I can copy it. I'll, I'll repair this one here <coughs> and then I'll there might be a screw here yeah there it is I'll just demonstrate using this easy out these The uh, join here because I can't I can't get the the flat edge I want. These chisels are quite cheap ones, and I I tend to use them for all the banging around, keep them as sharp as I can. And then when I got to bang something, I used those. And it's completely took the head off, which hasn't helped me at all. So, but it's, well, it has helped me. So, I'd say this was the uh, original plank looking at the age of all that material behind it. I'm going to clean up behind there. I'm going to make another joint exactly the same as that with a new plank and I shall replace that. Um, you can see all the old corking is at the bottom here. Uh, I've still got a couple of screws to take out. And then that, that should give me uh, a scarf joint into there. But the way, and I've found this around other areas of the planking, is that the way they did it originally, they did these small scarf joints um, and they did them on the ribs quite so, so it, it seems to have been quite successful um, I'll take a measurement of that scarf that, uh, that's two inches and of course the plank is probably at the moment it's 22 mil, so um, that's the way they did it and that's what I'm going to copy, clean all that out and it's, a, it's like a nib scarf joint on this end because whilst well, this one here um, 
has gone really down to the edge. The top one has got the recess. So if it's been in there for 50 odd years, there's no reason to suggest that something I put back in there uh, won't be as good. Uh, what's interesting though is where they've put a smaller plank and a larger plank, possibly just getting the size of the wood. But that's what they've done. And what I do now really, I've got a flat load. Uh, what I try to do is when they're in there, just get them out um, so that the plank will drop off. But you get the tops off. Uh, I also use the uh, ordinary cutter. What I what I do when I go underneath uh, quite a lot, I use this to cut over uh, and just pull the plank off, and I, I, I do that up here so that. Uh, just easier to get off really. A lot of people cut them. I have tried cutting and if, if you're not careful you cut something else. So the best method so far, apart from these um, easy out things that um, come from America, unscrewems which come out from the States which of course make them a bit more expensive having to get them here. These are very, uh, they're very good, and as I say, I use the ordinary small cutters, uh, hole cutter. Trying to get this one out. And I shall just clean all this up, patch the holes up. See all the old paste they put under there as well. I should be doing something similar. I've got all these planks here above, above here to cut and uh, make into cut some scarf joints and um, get them into shape really. So that's one of the jobs I've got to do. We finished quite a, a bit of work just here. Uh, I've got that back in now, I've got the, the knee back in. I've just got to put the post in. I've repaired um, up there. So we can, that's now finished. We've got that uh, doubler repaired. So hopefully now we're going to be taking it back on this side cutting the planks, scarfing the joints and getting it all back in this corner and finishing some planks underneath um, I'm not going to put them right up I'll, I'll take it up uh, to the last one then I'll start on the other side before I start uh, putting uh, cork in it so that I try and keep the same type of uh, work. Thank you for watching.
and see if I can get this screw out without using any other tool other than the screwdriver and clear the clear around with the chisel. But I don't find that I'm very successful at that when they've been in there a long while. Um, so what I want to do is get these plates really bent back and get them uh, so I can cut a scarf job and either with a, a saw or um, try and plane them off. But I think it will be a saw. Right, I'll uh, try the screw driver and what I'll try and do is get it on one side and what's happening is the head is just busting off. Get my old. Uh, well, I can't use that at the minute because what happens is it gets all jammed up. Now I've got to clear it out, and the way I do it is by drilling it out. A, a small drill bit 